Let's do a quick review of a new feature that became available in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain version 38 called Enable Recurring AP Invoices. In summary, this feature works very similar to existing feature on accounts receivable side that generates free text invoices. So let's take a look. First, let's create vendor invoice template. Give it a name. Select posting profile that will be used. If you do not specify one, default one will be used. Specify a currency in which invoice will be generated in. You can also specify different payment terms, methods, specifications, and schedules, financial dimensions. And then on the bottom here, select either item or procurement category that will be added to that vendor invoice. I will use a procurement category called advertising. Unit will be each, quantity will be five, and the unit price will be $10. Please note you can also add charges here either on the line level or on the header level of that invoice. Because this is a brand new invoice, when we click on Assign Vendors, there will be no vendors assigned to that template. To assign vendors to template, we'll navigate to All Vendors, select our vendor, let's say 009, go to Invoice tab and click on Recurring Invoices. And here we click on New, make sure the active is set to Yes. Under Template, select our template, select Start Date of our recurring billing, which is a mandatory field, it's going to be November 1st. You can either select End Date or No End Date at all. You can also specify the maximum cumulative amount after which the invoices will stop generating. And you can also specify an end date after which the invoices will also stop generating. Then select the currency that is matching to the one that we specified on template. Then we can also specify whether to pull invoice details from the template or from the vendor account. Let's use the template for that. And then the recurrence, so the frequency with which these invoices will be generated. So let's say we're going to specify weekly and then one in the period. Now let's go to recurring invoices, generate vendor recurring invoices, select invoice date. It could be, let's say, end of month and then generation date. So this is a date which will serve as the cutoff date. Invoices will be generated up to this date. So let's add November 30th as generation date. Then we can select the template. Under records to include, we can include our vendor. You can also leave that field blank to generate recurring NP invoices for all the vendors and then click on OK. Now let's go back to our vendor, click on recurring invoices again. Right away we see that the next generation date has been updated to December 6, which is the next week after the November 31st. The previous generation date was November 30th, right there. And then we can click on history and we see that we have one, two, three, four, five invoices generated because our start date was November 1st and our end date was November 30th. To look at the invoice details, we have to look at the existing form called Pending Vendor Invoices. So here are our invoices, click on Details, and here we see our procurement category, quantity 5, and unit price of $10. In the last step, we would go and post those pending vendor invoices. We can either do it from this new menu item right here, or we can do it from the Pending Invoices form itself by clicking on the Post button right here. Let's come back to our vendors, recurring invoices. We can also look at the accumulated totals by clicking on the totals button right here. We see that in total, five invoices, $50 each. We have a total of $250 accumulated. And one last thing I want to show you is that we can delete that invoice template. So we're going to select it and click on delete. It's going to say, do you want to do that? We're going to say yes. But what happens on the vendor side, if we go back, recurring invoices, we see that the record still is there, but the template now is a blank field and it's grayed out. And here we would not be able to delete it because we have some pending vendor invoices. And even if we delete this pending vendor invoices, we would still not be able to delete this record right here. That is all I wanted to show it to you today. I hope you found that video useful. Until the next time, take care.